All right. And now we're going to welcome Alfredo Bazo, President and CEO of Silver Mountain Resources. Thank you. The stage is yours. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for being here and having the opportunity to present Silver Mountain Resources today. Uh, my name is Alfredo Basso. I am CEO of the company. And um, I would like you to know what we're working on and what we're doing in, back in Peru. So Silver Mountain Resources is located in, in, uh, in Huancavelica. This is a well-known mining district in Peru. It's been, been mining for the past 80 years. If you take a look on what's been done in Huancavelica, you will see productions in the area for over 50 million ounces of equivalent in, in this um, area. The, the, our property, which we've got, it's divided into two main land packages. The, the southern package is called Reliquias, and this package is where the historical resources are coming from. Here we've got over 80 million ounces of equivalent silver. Uh, we've got a mill with a 2,000 ton per day capacity right there, ready to start production. We've got all the um, infrastructure you, you might be needing, the camps, the access to the mine, uh, facilities, tailings dam, everything is ready. Uh, we've got a access, to, a access to getting to the mine with a pretty nice paved road, a four-hour drive to get into it, very nice. We are connected to the national grid, electric national grid. Um, we've got good uh, relations with the community, so this is actually looking really nice. Well, our management team, it's myself, Jean-Pierre Ford, Thorsten Dane, Luis Perales, and all the team which we have been able to get up and put into help us to put this mine back into production again. Um, this is where these, our two land packages are located. I was talking about the area of Reliquias and Caudalosa, which is at the south. Um, in here, we, it's the brownfield areas, with, as, as we call it, and how it is located. And this, this is here where we've got all the permits already approved. This means that we are going to be able, and actually we are right now, working in a drilling campaign in the area of Reliquias. We are drilling, as we speak, uh, over 5,000 meters for a 15,000 meter um, campaign in the underground to be able to confirm and our, our historical resources. But not only that, we, what we want to do is to um, show that the potential of this mine is not only what, we, are, what he, we have been seeing for the past years, but this can go also at depth. We are drilling uh, 40 meters, 40 meters deeper than the historical information what we used to have. And this is for us to prove that the mine is not going to just end where we've been having all the information or the historical information, but actually we are able to have more resources going at depth. And we are very happy that we have had some of these results. And what we are seeing is um, mineralization areas with over 10 meters wide. Uh, 650 grams per ton of equivalent silver. So the continuity of the ore bodies is being seen here, and it's actually pretty nice. Um, here are our latest results we had um, from our labs. This is coming from last week information, and it's looking very nice. Not only because the results are pretty good, but it's because it's exactly what we were expecting, and we are able to confirm that not only the information that was seen as historical information is actually right there, but also, going at depth, we are getting the results we were expecting. That's actually pretty exciting for us. Uh, so I, I was talking about this is the Matacaballo vein, where we have been working, and our drilling campaign is in here, as I, I mentioned. And the same thing goes for uh, Sacasipuedes, which we are also working on and, and trying to complete, complete this uh, by the end of this year. We should be completing this drilling campaign in the underground, uh, probably in, in September or October, and start working on the results from there. Uh, besides the land package I was mentioning in the, northern, in the southern part, which was uh, Reliquias, we've got this area, which it's called Dorita and Guancarpusca. This is what we like to call our cherry on top of the pie, because this is where we have been seeing, we've been working and doing all the studies, and the results on, on, on gold, sorry, on gold are actually pretty promising. Uh, we are expecting to have the drilling campaign authorization by September uh, of this year, so we can confirm the resources we are expecting to find in this area. 
So what we're looking at and what we're planning to do is we started with this project by the beginning of 2021 when we started working and preparing, producing this 43101 to be able and prepare the company to go public. Uh, we did a private placement at, and at that point, uh, financing, and we were able to start doing all these works. Uh, in this year, we are working, as we said, on the drilling campaign to be able to confirm and expand our resources. But not only that, we are also working to get the plant ready to start production by the end of 2023. We're planning to start uh, with 600 tons and doing an, uh, then a ramp up from 600 tons to 1,200 tons in, in that case. Then we will continue our works with the mine to be able, uh, everything is gonna be in the right direction and keep on working with this. So by the end of 2023, we should be able to start uh, production in, in the Reliquias mine. Uh, this would be our capital structure and how we are distributed. We've got 186 million shares uh, outstanding, fully diluted. We've got 238 million shares. Uh, we've got a market cap of $52 million, and we've got in cash uh, $20 million US or $26 million Canadian. We are a free debt company, and we are pretty happy to say that we've, we are fully founded right now to be able to start or to conclude this drilling campaign and also the uh, investment we're gonna be need, needing to put the plant back into production. So just in summary, we're pretty focused on expanding our resources. We've got a pretty aggressive uh, drilling campaign. We keep on, we are pretty focused also to expand our footprint in the area, uh, expanding our concessions. Uh, as I said before, we are a free debt company and we are working with all the permits and um, facilities to get the plant and, and, and all the logistics to get this uh, properly working by the end of 2023. So that, that's who we are right now and what we're working on. We are planning and, and looking into uh, increasing our resources, being a, a company, as I said, with no debt is something very important for us, but increasing the resources, increasing the, the land packages which we have right now, and be able to put the plant into production by the end of 2023. Um, I don't know if you guys have any questions or any comments. Thanks. Can, can you talk about the balance of the mill versus the mine capacity? Absolutely. You, can the mine uh, produce as much as the mill has or the mill underutilized or what's the situation? Thanks. The mill used to be fed by two mines, Caudalosa and Reliquias, okay? Right now we are working pretty hard on Reliquias because it's the area where we've got the better access and it's uh, the first area where we are attacking or, or, or moving on. So that's uh, why we are starting the, to set up the plant and start with a 600 ton and then going up to 1,200 tons to make sure that the capacity on Reliquias is gonna be able to do that because the part of Caudalosa is gonna be coming a little bit uh, further on time. So that's why we, our plan is to start only with 1,200 uh, 1, tons per day. And all the drilling you talked about earlier, previous slide, yeah. that's for, that's infill drilling for, uh, the tonnage you talked about earlier? Yes, yes. Um, here we are looking not only to confirm the historical information which we've got, uh -huh. uh, and, but also to increase our resources. We are drilling at depth. What you can see here in green, it's uh, the information we are working to increase the resources, not only to convert this historical, but increase the resources we have. That's the 40,000 meters you talked about there, later slide later It's on. gonna be divided between the Sacasipuedes vein, the Matacaballo vein and uh, Meteisaca vein. Here you can see the plan which we've got for the first 14,000 meters. 14,000 meters. 14,000 meters in the Reliquias uh, okay. mine, yes. And this is gonna give you the capability to produce 2024, you said, right? Full year production. Yeah, commercial. but we're studying at 1,200 tons, not 2,000 tons yet. We need to make sure only Reliquias is gonna be able to do this because as I said, to be able to go to the 2,000 tons, we need the resources also coming from Dorita. 
sorry, from Caudalosa, but that is, uh, let's say, afterwards we finish this drilling campaign, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. And this can't uh, go to where, in terms of smelting? Sorry? Where's your, uh, which smelter contracts do you have, or the opportunities to, the, for the zinc cans to go to? Uh, we're selling concentrates. Uh, and we will be selling the concent to Internationally? Yes, yes. Okay. I was at the uh, Peru conference in, at P PDAC. Yeah. Okay. I don't know you were there as well. After like three hours, uh, the conclusion was, not so sure what the conclusion was. <laughs> what, what was your impression? Um, it, it's, it's a rough times right now in Peru, uh, but I would say that actually this is the big opportunity. These times are the best moment to go and be able to develop projects in Peru, uh, to get your chance to increase your footprint in Peru. Um, you will be able to get pretty nice projects right now, uh, which you usually would be paying a little bit higher than what you be, would be able to do this right now. So if you start investing today, as you know, what is happening in Peru right now, it's just like a pendulum, right? We are a little bit to one side. This is going to change. It's going to make it easier in the next couple of years. And at that point, you're going to be in a much, much better position once you are able to have a, a big package of projects uh, managing in Peru. So I would say it, I, it's a pretty nice moment to go and, and invest in Peru right now. Well, there, there are some big projects which are not yeah. going ahead. But yes. they, I think maybe smaller project projects will be more benefit, more opportunistic Absolutely. to do it. But the big ones like Tia Maria and all this probably going to be waiting a while before they sign a check to, well, even Yanacocha may be deferred a bit more, just waiting for things to stabilize. Would you agree with that? I, I, I agree on that for sure. And we're talking about Yanacocha or Tia Maria, both projects, or, or Keyabeco, projects that have been having some issues way before this government. It, it's been a long time before because of some political issues. 100% agree with you. But that's the same as I was saying. They've been in some trouble. That is going to pass. And you are going to be able to do business in Peru. For sure, you need to remember Peru is a, a mining country. So it's, it's, everybody understands that. And at the end, we need to make sure mining projects are going to be developed in Peru. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you, much. Alfredo. Thank you.